So I've just been sat here for a few moments trying to come up with a pithy uh, way of framing how I feel about Terror of the Vervoids. And um, uh, I've really struggled. And I think the reason I've struggled is, this, is because it, everything is lacklustre. Um, and it's not as if there's any sort of um, overall guiding argument that one can make as to why this is sadly not not come up to expectations the bottom line is that just everything about this doesn't doesn't quite hit the mark and it's so frustrating because as we shall see we've been, we've just ummed and ahed about doing a you know a, a three episode little marathon tonight you know just to nail this trial who knows it could be one of those rock and roll evenings but if this is the apex of uh Colin Baker, then, and obviously that wasn't known at the time, but I really want to see something that allows Colin Baker to have the platform that I think his performance deserves because this is a big thing from the Whoathon. This Baker has gone up in my expectations because of this process. I genuinely feel that uh, Colin really wants this to work, is willing to, to come up with ways of doing it, is... is um, doing everything he can to make this zing. I think that Mel has massive potential as a companion and and for all the uh, the broad... I keep talking about broad performances. Yeah, but let's compare that to, to companions of late, as has been said, that just don't want to be there. And Mel does, and it's so nice. How did she get to be there? Did we, did we know that or not? How did she get to be there? Yeah. I did tell you this the other night. I don't think you listened to me. Have you seen it in Doctor Who? No. Because Mel in Mel in the Doctor's timeline, he hasn't met Mel for the first time yet. Oh, oh no, no, that's wrong. In oh it's just complicated because we deal with two separate times. I'll talk you through it in a minute. But the bottom line is this that is the latest we are gonna see in Colin Baker's timeline, isn't it? And as I said, you know, I really enjoy his performance. Genuinely, I think that Colin Baker is a as a fine doctor. They're all fine doctors, but you know what I mean here. But as for Terror of the Vervoids, well, the Vervoids are just disappointing. There's no way of swinging it. They, they, they don't work, really. Um, I'm not convinced as them being plants and their motivation's crap and they talk like everybody else on the ship, which is just, just doesn't work. So that's a real pity. Uh, the twist of the security dude turning bad comes out of nowhere and, and has got no justification in the previous episodes. Um, the... The Who Done It, which could have been great, and in the hands of other writers, would have been the uh, you know this could have been Robots of Death, couldn't it? No, it couldn't. <laughs> what am I talking about? Robots of Death is class. But what I'm saying is that Doctor Who can do Who Done It really well, and this doesn't work as a Who just doesn't work as a Who Done It. And in that bit at the end, and this is the bit that Sarge says, uh, kind of makes it. The first death was this, and then the second death was this. And I'm thinking, I only saw these episodes a few days ago, and I can't remember which the order the deaths go in. So, so if you're gonna if you're gonna do a Who Done It, you've got to do the Who Done It convention of of just breaking it down for the audience and reminding us now and again of what sequence things occurred, so we can at least feel half clever when we get to the end of it. Um, what was that? The dog's bored. No, the, dog, the dog's bored of this end of the trial, which is a shame. So there we are. I mean, I'm miffed. My emojis have just arrived that I'm going to put on here in a minute. I'm miffed. I'm miffed because this could have been so much better. And it wasn't. So two episodes to go. Two episodes of Colin to go. Two episodes to wrap this all up. Um... The trial, let's be fair, the trial bits are okay in this episode. You know, they're few and far between, and, and there is a, a natural progression to the trial story now. Yeah. I think Trial of a Time Lord, we've got two episodes to come, I think Trial of a Time Lord is, is underappreciated by fandom because it's better than it has any... For the amount of effort that's gone into it, how that feels... This should be abysmal, and it's not abysmal. It's okay at, at the very least, you can say it's okay, and at points it's much better than that. Anyway, 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 I've chunted on enough about this. There is very little to say about Terror of the Vervoid, so it's quite remarkable that I can say five minutes worth. Th this story in any other season 
would be the one where you go, oh, and that's in it. But we're in a four-story season. They're always supposed to hang together. And so this is just poor.